G'day and welcome to another episode of Ian Smithson's Photography. In this episode, we're down at Mackenzie's Beach, just south of Batemans Bay on the New South Wales coast. And I'm shooting Creativity Challenge number 20, which was simplicity. It's such a beautiful beach, beautiful afternoon, and there's not a lot else happening. It's still a bit early to get that really nice golden light. But what I'm trying to do here is to simplify this shot to just get the essence of this beach, which is about a broad sweeping sandy beach rolling white water across the shore, curling waves in the turquoise sea, and the deep cobalt blue in the background. So we're gonna give that a go. What I've got set up here is Pentax K1 with the 24 to 70, and the Nissi filter system on the front. I've got a polarizer on, and I've got a six stop neutral density filter over it to slow the shutter speed down enough to blur the waves and just get those lines of water to make it even simpler. So we'll give that a go. I'll take the neutral density filter off and just shoot some faster shots to freeze the waves and see how they turn out. kilometres south down to another beautiful little bay called Gorilla Bay. And at that point I pressed pause on the audio without noticing. What I was telling you without the audio on was this is the view that I was looking at and I really liked it with the textured rocks in the foreground leading your eye into what's going on in the midground here and these beautiful coloured and textured cliff faces on both sides but it's just a bit too busy. There's too much going on. And this episode was about simplicity. So what I decided to do was to walk up here and face out this way and get this little bit of rock in the foreground pointing out towards what was going on here and concentrate on the flow of water here. So let's have a look at that. And so here's the view from on top of those rocks. Lovely little pointy triangle here, pointing directly out to these rocks. I love the water flow here and the island in the background. But it's still just a bit too busy and there's just a bit too much of this blue. I really like the colour blue, but there's just a bit too much of it. These big blocks in the two bottom left and bottom right corners just didn't work for me. So what I did again was then to zoom in and concentrate on just this central bit and this cliff here. So two more shots, trying to simplify the view of this location once again. this one a little bit further I converted it to black and white. I'm still not sure whether I prefer the colour or the black and white but let me know what you think in the comments below. And 
one last shot. Well, a few hundred shots. I'm going to do a time lapse with a wide angle lens, 12 millimeter lens on here that I can then crop to 16.9 format. Um, and I'm going to set it up to take a shot every five seconds as the tide is coming in across this little isthmus here and as the shadow starts to move up the rocks in front of us. I'm not sure whether half an hour is going to be long enough, but I'll give that a go and hopefully the camera, tripod and I don't get washed away. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, click the little bell to get notified, do all that stuff. And remember, pixels are free, so get out there and shoot more. Bye for now. <laughs>